Like, I'm such an extroverted person that I would rather spend, I was actually, I was talking to Chris Williamson about this because I was like, I, I actually enjoy spending 95% of my time or even like 98% of my time with another person if I like that other person. Okay. Like whether yeah, that's yeah, yeah, friends yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or a relationship. I like, I hate being alone. Even if I'm working, I used to go work in cafes. So I was, so at least there were people around me. And he said he was like the opposite. He'd rather spend 95% of his time alone. It's like, ugh. I, I don't like I that at all. I used to be like that until very recently. And I don't know what changed in me, but I always consider myself to be a hardcore introvert. I still do. But now I'm realizing that if I don't like see someone every day or like fairly regularly, I start to go crazy. And that I'm not as introverted as I thought I was. Now, that that being said, I don't think most people are are fun to spend extended amounts of time with. Um, yes. Like like you said, like a lot of people like they're just it's just like small talk or like, you know, their opinions on whatever's in the news. And it's like you you get you're not going to have that kind of intense fun. I took something away from this. I I don't want to have a conversation with someone. I want to have an experience with someone. Right. Like a story. Like, let's do something awesome. Let's tell me something amazing like that. Those kind of relationships are the kinds of thing that make life just so much more exciting and interesting. Um, and not that many people can deliver that. Uh, but mm-hmm. yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. I, the other thing that's a problem that I had to learn is when you, your brain tries to get you to, to isolate when it's not doing well. So if you are like feeling lonely, it'll tell you not to reach out to people. And then it becomes this spiral and you yeah. have to override it and be like, okay, my brain's giving me the absolute worst advice. Go out and hang out with someone you like. Uh, even just go get ice cream. It doesn't matter. Just do something. And it'll you'll human beings are, are much more social animals than we let ourselves realize, even those of us who are like fiercely independent. Yeah, I agree. That's a, that's what's rough about depression too, I think, is that you get depressed and yeah. then your brain tells you to be by yourself and then that contributes to being depressed. And yeah. Like you said, that's rough, but good things, it, I, good things. So getting, getting I, I married had, was good. I, I actually had to deal with that in the last week because the book came out, which I've been working on for so long. And then like there was a little issue with Amazon with the pricing, which was resolved in a day. And they haven't even sent them out yet, right? And like it was kind of a big um, anticlimax. It's not like a movie premiere where you have the premiere and there's a red carpet and everyone's there, right? It's like the book's out. And then it's kind of like crickets, even though the sales are very good. It was like the top new release in politics for the week. Take that corporate publishers. And then I was talking yeah. to my buddy and she's like, you're, you're so used to media where you put out a tweet or a YouTube and you get instant feedback that when you didn't get that, you're thinking this is like a flop, even though you haven't even started your promotion tour. So no wonder you're like feeling like all like, like all kinds of way. And when I realized that, I'm like, holy crap, this is as old media as it gets, like books, give it time to breathe. It hasn't even reached people's hands yet. Then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I can relax. I just, I am someone who's very bad, and I'm sure a lot of your listeners are the same way, someone who's very bad at relaxing and telling myself it's yeah. okay to have a day where you're just messing around and watching shitty TV and and just not doing anything. It's, it's fine, you know what I mean? Like, But I, it's hard for me to do that sometimes, especially after two years of working on something that's so intense to kind of, and it's like, it's, it's okay. Like to take a week off after two years of producing a book that you're very proud of. Oh yeah. hundred percent. I'm terrible at that as well. And it's, it's silly because you can burn yourself out. You can't just work all the time. You actually need to take the yeah. rest time to recover so you can be more productive. But I have such like guilt and an antsy feeling if yeah. I'm not working on something or pushing yep. a project forward or making progress in some way. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. I'm terrible at that. So I feel you. 